What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. We're gonna be taking on this dude YOLO 49ers for life. I guess this guy's supposed to be a competitive player. Uh, allegedly, you know, top 100. We're about to expose him right now. Um, and when I use that exposed, I'm not trying to take away from J-Mel, but um, I know a lot of individuals, um, you know, use a lot of people's stuff and don't give them credit. Uh, as far as I know, the man told me that the whole exposure thing was his. Okay, listen, bruh, J-Mel 04, however you, I don't know, it, it kind of changes up depending on, um, you know, which avenue you go, but I think the uh, the YouTube is just J-Mel. Um, you guys should know about him by now. Uh, he's been exposing dudes for a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this game because this individual right here, he's actually banned in my Twitch stream, but I don't know why he was banned. Um, but during during this game, I was I was streaming and he was streaming as well. And uh, I think it was the same day that I played against the Fruit Town Internet Pyro, um, Joel CP. If you don't know who that guy is, bro, that dude, yo, he probably has like six bodies on him, bro, but internet wise, you know what I'm saying? Like the dude just runs up at the mouth, crazy. I, I, look, man, I don't know. I can't argue with dudes that are on the internet going wild, man. I'm just coming out here trying to play the game and uh, do what I gotta do. Uh, but yeah, um, Joe LCP is definitely certified internet fruit time pyro. Uh, but this guy right here, I don't know. A lot of people say he allegedly, um, you know, he view bots and all that stuff. I don't know how any of that stuff works. So, and I don't really care if he view bots. Look, man, to each his own. If he, he's finding a way to get viewers into his stream, that's his business. I don't know. This is just the information that was given to me. The bottom line is this, though. A lot of the Madden community, when uh, one person is running something, everybody runs it. Now, you can you can use a little bit of everybody's scheme and then formulate your own. But a lot of people just, you know, they, they come out and they run pretty much. It's, it's all the same shit. Like, this dude is running the same type, but it's different because, um, you know, Joel, Joel CP, he just runs one play. A play that was being run by I'm Wild, uh, another player that's in the uh, Madden Bowl uh, that's going to the tournament. Hopefully he wins that. Well, 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 he a true boy. He a true boy is who I'm rooting for. Those two dudes, I, you know, I, I go into their streams when they do stream and see what's good with them. Both both two good dudes seem like, uh, you know, good individuals. True boy, I know a lot longer than I'm wild, but, you know, I digress from that situation. I'm just saying, like, if it was two people I had to pick, probably true boy and I'm wild as far as the Madden Bowl goes. But, yeah, I'm wild was running the, um, oh, drop the pick. The same, um, you know, things that that dude is running, uh, Joel CP. And now this dude is running a similar type to a lot of the other, you know, to other dudes that are 20 players as well. So I don't know whose scheme is whose. I don't know who's doing what. All I know is, look, man, the bottom line is you got to go into the lab and figure out what you want to do and come out and do it. Um, a lot of the things that, you know, people do come up with, it's very, very hard to know who comes up with what because everybody is going to be using it. Like, you know, the dollar defense that Spot Me Please won the Madden Classic with, I don't think that that's his defense, but that's what he was using. Um, I saw other people use it way be, you know, well, I can't say way before, but I saw people using that on the at the drop of the game. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much people know what defenses are going to work because either you get the game early or you get an ebook early or whatever from somebody that's, oh, okay, yo, dot me, dot me, yo, 4th to 14, good stuff. Dude, yo, did he just smart route, uh, in route? Yo, good, yo, this, this dude right here is a certified clown though, but um, yeah, the bottom line is this, man. I don't really understand the whole uh, situation where everybody claims that the Madden community is like, you know, the greatest community. Like, you'll look at certain tweets and things and everybody's like, yo, this, this community's so good. Bro, you guys need to stop. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes out here that's just doing whatever they want. Um, you know, pretty much say whatever they want. Uh, it's according to, you know, race, whatever. They just, just all kinds of crazy words that are being utilized in streams and people just, they, they run with it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you gotta be able to back up your play. And like I said, uh, Joel CP, when he came out and was running dollar every play, look, that's my fault. You know what I'm saying? If a dude is running bum D, I gotta change up what I do. So I, oh, look, he moved back in then Randy Moss. I got rid of Randy Moss though. I rage sold him. I rage sold him. Um, like I said, but yeah, that's why, you know, depending on what the game is, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. It just depends on whether I'm recording that day. So, you know, the, the Fruit Time Pyro, Joel CP, he allegedly was running around saying that, you know, you guys will never see the game on YouTube. Bruh, listen, man, when, 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 you're, when you're a grown man, you don't really care about all this other stuff that's going on. But like, you know, th these dudes are kids. You know what I'm saying? So they don't really understand that at the end of the day, nobody gives a shit about you when you start losing. You know what I'm saying? So Joel CP right now, Madden is a ridiculous game. So a lot of people that are bums are gonna come up. The dudes that are already good, like Problem Right, will, will keep his stature. But it's very, very hard for Problem Right to create the dominance that he once had because the game has changed. And there's so many ways that you can utilize, you know, features. You can't really pick the ball, stuff like that. So the, the real good players from the old school are not going to be as good right now. So they're going to be a lot of newbies coming in. You know what I'm saying? The guys like, you know, this guy 49ers for life, Joel CP, bums. 
you know what I'm saying, that come out and they can get away with running three-man blitzes or two-man blitzes. You know, D. Jones, you know, people hate him a lot. Uh, you know, he was running, he was rushing nobody last year and still getting pressure. You know what I'm saying? So um, because of the way the game has changed, you're going to have guys that are going to, they up their confidence. All of a sudden they grow big balls and, you know, big peanuts. But at the end of the day, if you need to really, you know, brag about your play and stuff like that, and it doesn't speak for yourself, you're, you're probably a bum. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody ever disrespects the whole fact that Problem Right is the GOAT because of what he's done for Madden because his play spoke for him. He didn't need to go out there like, yo, bro, you know, I'm in that thug Pyru. He never needed to do that. But these young dudes need to do that. That That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, let your play talk for itself. But either way, this dude was in the stream running amok. You know, there's a lot of guys that were in his stream supporting him and they came to my stream right after. Well, I can't say a lot of guys because allegedly they were all robots. But, you know, for the guys that were human, they were talking trash in there. Then, they, oh, you gonna fumble the ball, Dion? All right, yo, I know that this guy wanted to, like, call a timeout and not make this um, this play stand. I think they probably patched that, but I don't know. But I know that it would hurt him, but he was streaming, so you couldn't do that. You guys remember that glitch? Like, dudes just paused the game when it, when it was a turnover, so they couldn't challenge it. Uh, I don't know. Somebody leave it in the comments if uh, they did actually patch that, but I don't believe that EA, um, you know, they patch things that are necessary to make the game more playable. So if they did, kudos to them. If they didn't, you know, it is what it is regardless. But yeah, um, this is a guy that, you know, he streams. And like I said, he's getting promotion right now. I'm just letting you guys understand. I don't really care about all the other stuff that goes into it. Um, but the one thing that I will say, though, if he's supposed to be a good player, um, we kind of broke his heart right here because he's going to run the ball. Now, look, you got to go down fighting, dog. When you run the ball, this is this is pretty much laying down. He punched me in the face right there, though. He punched my dude in the face. But that's pretty much laying down when you run the ball on your last play, when you get your ass with Even Jim Caldwell, the soccer dad, feels it. I'm going to see you guys next time, man. Enjoy. One love.